Shepherding Sam, Chapter 6, Part 2. When Sam reached the church, the others had already gone inside, but Saucer was waiting for him at the door. Are you going to church, crazy dog? asked Sam. Saucer pranced over the threshold and stopped just inside the church. He put his head down and licked the floor just once, like a kiss. This place is crazy, said Sam to himself. The dog goes to church, and they have dead guy bones. I'm going in there. I bet I never saw anything like this. Sam stepped over the threshold and stood next to Saucer, who was sitting quietly on the smooth stone floor. Sam saw golden brown candles standing in a box full of sand. The candlelight flickered and he saw patient, solemn faces with dark eyes, watching him from the gilded icons on the walls. He sniffed the air and noticed its soft, spicy fragrance as he breathed in and out. He heard Sister Catherine's gentle voice and saw his friend standing by a wooden table along the wall inside the sanctuary. He saw more candles, more icons, and a little metal basket hanging from golden chains with bells on them. Sister Catherine beckoned. Sam walked carefully across the floor. He felt like a person climbing a mountain, looking for safe places to put his feet down, looking for something strong to hold onto with his hands. This is our reliquary, whispered Sister Catherine, holding out a small silver case. Open it. Sam used the tips of his fingers to lift the lid. Those little openings each hold a fragment of bone. Do you see them? Sam stared. From real dead guys? Not just real, real and special. Those are the bones of saints. Sam leaned closer. Does it smell weird? That's myrrh. That's what holiness smells like. Sam held out one finger. Sister Catherine smiled and nodded at him. Sam let his finger come to rest on a small, smooth piece of glass. Under it was a bone fragment from a saint. He let his finger rest there for one second, then another. Then he backed away. When he got to the door, Saucer was there waiting for him. I'm going outside, said Sam. Saucer followed him and plopped down on the grass. Sam knelt down next to him and scratched the fuzzy space between Saucer's pointy ears. Saucer settled further into the grass. His front leg stuck out in front of him. His back leg stuck out behind him. You look like Superdog, said Sam. You just need a cape. Saucer rolled on his back and waved his legs in the air. Now you look like Crazy Dog again. Saucer barked. When it was time to go home, Sam lagged behind the other children and the nuns on the way back to the parking lot. The children were all talking to each other, and Aunt Eva was talking to the nuns. Sam was talking to Saucer. I saw some dead guy's bones, Crazy Dog. Arf! It was weird and cool. Arf! I don't know about this place. Arf! Arf! Crazy Dog. Aunt Eva turned when she reached the monastery gate and waited for Sam to catch up. I see you made a friend, Sam. This dog is crazy. Are you sure about that? Sam scuffed his toe on the ground. Saucer licked his shoe. This dog bit my pants and dragged me to church, said Sam. Aunt Eva reached down and patted Saucer on the head. Good dog, Saucer, she said. You do whatever it takes. <laughs>